Here, sir. Buzzard. Here, sir. Carlos. Here, sir. Chattel. Here, sir. Larkin. Here. Cletus. Here, sir. Collier. Here, sir. Cor so my roommate and I are in the middle of packing all our stuff out because uh, we are leaving soon, naturally. Uh, but the room is absolutely horrible. Look at that. Ugh. Of course, uh, a big part of us moving out is that we have to turn in all of the, the gear that was given to us. So I thought this would be a cool opportunity to just kind of show you guys what like you're given when you get when you get here, um, and then me organizing it to take it all away finally. Uh, but first, I need I need to uh, get some more comfortable pants on. That's more like it. So, uh, starting off, this is your ruck, which is just a big backpack that you keep all your stuff in. You will learn to both love and hate it. It'll be your bed, pillow, home, everything you want it to be. And everything you don't want it to be, which is heavy and wet. Next we have our helmet, uh, pretty self-explanatory. I actually have to take this apart. So I'm gonna do that. You can't really tell anymore, but this, this back strap right here used to be all covered in blood uh, because during basic once I had uh, a 50 pound ammo can dropped on my head. And so I still have like a scar. But I thought it was really cool because it didn't really like hurt me, but there's a lot of blood naturally because it's a head wound. Uh, and everyone thought it was really cool for like 30 seconds. Highlight of my day by far. Ooh. Next we have uh, an IBA. It's kind of an older bullet resistant vest that we were issued. Mine's too small. I don't know why there was a mix up with mine. And if it fit, I'd be able to do all these buttons and stuff. And this doesn't have any plates on it. Typically, you'd have sappy plates that would go in front and in the back. Uh, but last time I actually tried to put plates in this thing, since it's too small, it wouldn't even close. So uh, if I ever actually had to use this thing, I would have been screwed. This beautiful mess is our, uh, it's our flick. It's basically just another vest that you wear, except this one doesn't do anything. It just carries equipment on it. It has a molly system, which is what this is called. It's like a hoop, hoop system that all these pouches and everything can like hook onto, and you can rearrange it however you want. And uh, I always liked having the mags on the left side so I could just easily grab them with my non-firing hand. They're just typical GI 30 round magazines uh, or high capacity 30 caliber clips if you're from California. And I have six of those plus an extra that I also have to turn in. Two canteens, uh, which are pretty standard. Typically, like a lot of people don't actually drink out of them. They just use them to fill up their other water sources uh, because once you start drinking out of them, they make a lot of noise and they make the weight shake around and taste like metal. But they are useful, you know. I do use them. This is the, uh, it's called an IFAC individual first aid kit. It's got a tourniquet, uh, and then just a general med pouch, and this thing you'll have gauze, uh, stop bleeding. I'm afraid to touch anything, I don't wanna ruin it, and, and have them make, make me pay for it. I always appreciate medical training, because it's incredibly important, but I never appreciate whenever I had to have this thing put on me, because it hurts, and it's annoying, and sometimes your friends will hold you down, put two tourniquets on your legs, and then pick you up, and then you're not able to walk, so you just fall back down. Not that I'm bitter or anything. When I was issued this, it came with like an extra set of mag pouches. Um, I've never used them for anything important. I've always just kept like random things in here. This is a, a five hour energy bottle from like forever ago. Just my headlamp. These are godsends because you can just use your hands however you want. And then also with this, you can do two shadow puppets at the same time. Two hand grenade pouches, pretty self-explanatory, but uh, I've never actually carried hand grenades into a training simulation. And then this pouch is for flashbangs, uh, but again, never use the flashbang, and I always just keep earplugs in here. Important. People come up with just crazy ways to put this thing together and organize it to be super tactical and hua, but I always just like to keep it basic, just kind of my style. This is a beanie that I found. Very important, it gets cold at night. A mess of Tangled 550 cord. Dirty clear eye pro that I can barely see through. Oh geez, something actually got in my eye from it. Oh god, it's like a total failure of engineering. Uh, this was a rifle cleaning kit, still is technically, uh, but about a year ago, the lubricant in it exploded and just basically ruined the whole thing. So I don't actually use this, but I'm still required to carry it around. Here's some face paint, and it's got like the world's, oh, I was about to say the world's worst mirror, as the mirror fell off. Baby powder, very important for uh, a lot of reasons. I'm sure you can come up with those on your own. And then uh, this is my multi-tool. I don't use it too often. Uh, typically only use it for like training purposes or like when we are training, um, but it's held up pretty nice. I don't know, my mom bought it for me. I was in high school. Not only is this a tool in the field, but it's also like your greatest source of entertainment. Next we have elbow pads and knee pads. Self-explanatory. Knee pads, very important. Your body will thank you. And of course, the most fun thing that I have that everyone loves using all the time. Gas mask. Contrary to popular belief, 
These do not make you sound like Darth Vader. They actually make your voice sound less than Darth Vader than ever before. Okay. Now I get to give all this stuff a shower. To be honest, this isn't how I expected to spend my last few days in college. And now that that's done, I still need to clean my room.